there everybody, it's old Chainsaw Bob. We're out for a ride today and we're at the, next to the ranger station at Chillahowie Mountain in Tennessee. And we're getting ready to go up the mountain, up to the, uh, there's three scenic views up there and we'll take a look at all three of them. All right, let's head off up this mountain. It's a beautiful ride up through here. At least I think so. So well, up we go. Up the side of this mountain. No idea how far it is up here. Uh, I'm going to have a uh, an announcement sometime next week about the possible acquisition of a, another motorcycle to the Chainsaw Bob motorcycle fleet, uh, feet, which means it'll be my number four. Got to get rid of some of them. <laughs> you can't ride four motorcycles. But, uh, I've been looking and looking and checking things on the line and looking on YouTube for a possibility of uh, getting a uh, smaller bike to be able to get out and still ride some of the trails. I, I really miss my, my being able to get out and ride up and down the uh, forestry roads and stuff. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, hard one lane or one track trails. I'm talking about the forestry roads and the back roads and stuff. And I really miss that. I didn't realize how much I'd miss it until Till I couldn't do it anymore, didn't do it anymore. And, uh, so I'm looking, looking at a, a smaller bike that uh, might just fill the bill, at least I hope so. So uh, we'll leave it at that and uh, uh, see, see what happens. through here before and I've, I've seen wild turkey up here I've seen deer up here and I've seen bear up here and there's a campground up on top of this, uh, this mountain up here and uh, I've mentioned this before but uh, 20, 20 years or so ago there was a, a woman and her daughter that was out hiking one day and they run up on a, a bear and the bear killed both of them so that still does happen. I mean, it's about all, I don't know any of the circumstances of why it happened. I just know that it did happen. It was a, a mother and a, I think about a, a eight or 10 year old girl or something like that. And they were just out hiking on the trails. And you know, sad things still happen, you know. First overlooks just around the corner up here, I believe. Somewhere around one of these corners up here, anyway. Yeah, yep, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Are we there yet? No, we're almost there. <laughs> I'm out riding on Mother's Day. Nothing uncommon about that. I lost my mother some 27 years ago, I guess it was. Yeah, my mother and my dad, they died about six weeks apart in 1993. It's just something you don't, you don't ever forget. Everybody, you know, if you, uh, if you live long enough, everybody loses their parents sooner or later. It's just the way life is. Well, I, I must not be nowhere near that uh, that vista I wanted to look at up here. I, I forget from time to time how far it is up the side of the mountain here. There's two two vistas here, and then there's of course there's the one on, up on top of the mountain up there, and that's that's the one we're riding up to. I think I'll, I'll check them going up if there's not a lot of people there. Sometimes there's a lot of people and you can't even get a pair to park. 
looks out over the lake so here I guess about the only thing I don't like about this scooter is I don't like the drone of the engine with the with the uh, centrifugal clutch there, the uh, variator clutch. But that's <laughs> that's something you put up with with these things. Well, here's the first. This is a lake view overlook here. Let's let's just pull in here and see if we can get a good view here. Yeah, it looks pretty good from here. <laughs> looks pretty good. For those that that don't know me, and uh, I guess that's a lot of people, but this is actually the the third Bergman that I've ever had. I had a brand new 2003 Bergman 650, and then I uh, I put a lot of miles on that one, I, almost 100,000, I believe it was. And then I got a new 2009 Bergman 650, and I think I only put about 30,000 on it, or 35,000. And they were actually just a little bit too big and heavy for me and you know being my age and everything uh, uh, I just you know can't quite handle the, the heavy weights and stuff like I at one time might have but then I uh, to thinking you know that uh, I needed actually to get something smaller and something that uh, the problems that I have with my legs and stuff would be a lot more comfortable for me so I can move my legs around and didn't have to stick them out on foot pegs and stuff and uh, uh, I run across the Bergman 200 I never really considered one of these very much uh, but the, the price was right and everything and then, uh, uh, it's bigger than what you might think it is, and uh, it's not a maxi scooter, and it's only a 200cc uh, engine with, I think, about 18 horsepower or something like that, but it'll, it'll get up there and run. It'll run 75 or 80, and it'll cruise all day at 65 and 70, and uh, even with my big old rear end on it. It's water cooled, single cylinder, four valves per cylinder, fuel injected. Okay. Well, I was thinking there's two places, but it looks like it's I either missed the other one or or I was dreaming about where it was at. We're not quite up to the to this uh, this other one up here. There'll probably be a lot of people up here. rode up here one day uh, several years ago and, and uh, uh, there's two three hundred people up here this this one you couldn't even park up here and uh, uh, there was this because there was an eclipse of the Sun and I, I hadn't thought about that you know people get up high here where they can get a good view of it and everything and, uh, I didn't get to see it. I, I couldn't even find a place to stop on the road to, to get off and take a look. I just kind of rode on through. Now here's my other parking area here. We'll just see here if there's a if there's an empty spot. Boy, they don't look like much here. 
we'll just kind of drive through, I guess. And, uh, Of pictures before up here. That right in front of us there, there was uh, several years ago we stopped up here and there was a bear right up there standing there watching everybody. He just chilling out and looking at all the crazy people up here. Well, let's go on. We'll go back down. this little bike uh, the length of the Blue Ridge Parkway sometime this summer when the motels and stuff get back opened up maybe in, in July or August or early September somewhere along in there and uh, I've got a couple of buddies that, that might ride with me up there it's, I sure hope so uh, at, a, at all of our age they're all in their 70s too and I'm getting ready to be 80 uh, we don't, you know, get together much for a ride or anything anymore. And they live, they both live in Indiana, so they're going to come down. And, and, I, and as far as I know, I'm probably going to ride the scooter. Although I might ride the CTX 700. That's that's always a possibility too. But the scooter is a lot more comfortable for me to ride. both have bigger bikes. The one has a, a Victory Vision, I think it is. And a nice big full size, I think it's 1800 cc's or something like that bike. I don't know exactly how big, but it's a big bike. And uh, uh, the other guy uh, has got uh, a, a BMW Touring bike and he's got a Honda Seven uh, seven hundred NCS, I guess it is the uh, adventure version of the, the seven hundred engine, automatic. So he might ride that too. But the speed limit on the parkway is forty-five mile an hour, or less. And uh, uh, I don't think I'd have too much trouble keeping up with them. You know. Uh, on the parkway and might have <laughs> trouble keeping up with them if they can get over on the interstate, you know, but <laughs> yeah, here's this other one. I, I thought that I'd, I just missed one. That was all. So there is three. Uh, anyhow. I think I'm going to stop right here and, and on the stroll straight away and turn the uh, turn the camera off, save my battery.